Yo, what is up? I want to hop in here and tell you how to come prepared, how to show up prepared to speaking interactions. And this was brought to my attention through a client call that I just had. And we talked about his presentation that he just gave and what really made him feel confident, what really made him feel loose, what really made him feel natural, what really made him feel present in the interaction was being able, I'm hopping right into this, all right? So have your notepad out. What allowed him to be loose and natural, speak freely, speak effortlessly, one of the most major things was coming prepared. So he did his work before. He had all the notes written down. He had all the points written down so that he didn't have to have his brain thinking about what he was going to say, how he was going to say it, if it's going to be good enough to say. It was all his best shit already. And I want you to really sink, sink this into your brain. It was all his best shit already. He took time and, pre and prepared. It was all his best shit already. That mixed with the work that we've done together these past few weeks, having that extra confidence made it absolutely effortless, made it so flowy. Now, interactions aren't always like that. In interactions, you are not, you don't have a fucking notepad beside you saying, what am I going to talk about? No, it's up to you to show up and run the conversation maybe, or not run out of things to say, or just have enough value to give so it doesn't die out and get awkward and all this shit, right? What's the equivalent? I was thinking about this and we talked about this together. What's the equivalent? to having this notepad beside you of everything you're going to say on a presentation where you feel confident to having that same level of confidence in an interaction that you can't have a notepad for what it is let me break it down to you right now what it is what gives you that same confidence much more confidence than that and what's in your control to come prepared to the interaction with is your fucking state your state of being how you feel and i've made so many posts about this that the interaction that you have at play 95 percent of it of your speech of how you effortlessly speak and how natural you are 95% of it and how you show up is dictated upon your state prior to showing up. Only 5% you can change in the moment. But if your state fucking sucks and you're anxious and you're nervous, how are you going to show up to this interaction? And when you're in this interaction and you're in this panic mode, how easy is it going to be for you to pull yourself out and have the awareness when your thoughts are all shit because your emotions are all shit and because your state sucks. Now, what I said, I want you to remember, this is fucking massive. What I want you to remember is that the notepad was all his best shit. And that's what made him feel there's nothing I there's not there's nothing I'll say that will fuck me up that will that is not good enough. With your state, you only feel like you're not good enough. You only feel like what you say is not valid. You only start to filter so much your words. You only start to anticipate, live in the future or live in the past too. Thinking, oh, this happened in the past. I've been in this similar situation. It's gonna happen again. It only, those thoughts only come when your state is lower. You only feel like this is not your best shit when your state is lower. If you put in the work, if you seriously design your day and design your mornings and desire your, des design your pre-interaction time to fuel you, to put you in the best possible fucking state 
to have this interaction, whether this means voice work, whether this means breath work, whether this means certain exercises you do, all of this shit will release certain tension. All of this shit will make you more confident in how your voice sounds. All of this shit plays a role in your state, how you show up. And this is why it's so fucking vitally important. I make extremely clear to my clients and we work on this for weeks is state management, being able to control your state, no matter where you are, no matter if you're panicked, no matter if you're an anxious about to give a presentation, you know what makes you tick inside. You know what we can do to pump your state, to bring you into a relaxed, a calm and a present state because that present state is really where the magic happens. You only stutter when you're thinking about the future or you're thinking about the past. You do not stutter in presence. That's the simple fact. You do not stutter in presence. You only stutter when you have certain tensions inside of you, certain anxieties inside of you, certain fears inside of you. There is no fucking fear in presence. There is no anxiety in presence. There is only calmness in presence because right now, what is there to be anxious about? There's only things to be anxious about in the future. There's nothing to be anxious about right now. Right, right now, this split second, there's nothing to be fearful about. And that's, there's only tension that is stored inside of you when you're holding on to things in the past, when they're being triggered, and when you're thinking about the future. So coming back, how to prepare for interactions. You must, must know what makes you tick. You must know what brings you into that calm, relaxed, powerful, dominant, carefree state. Because the more interactions and experiences you can have inside of this state, inside of a state where you feel calm and relaxed and carefree, the more you can start to change your relationship with your stutter. Because if you're only having experiences where you're shameful, where you're shameful and anxious and fearful, then of course you're gonna fucking hate your stutter because every outcome you get is gonna be a result of the state you're feeling. But if you start having experiences in a high vibrational state, something we train my clients to, to, to do to start to replace your old thinking patterns is create new stuttering, create new stuttering experiences in a high vibrational state. So you change your relationship with your stutter that way, because you're seeing it differently. You're getting different responses. You're perceiving it differently and you're acting differently. That's how you see your stutter isn't bad. You only view your stutter as bad when you're, when you're stuttering in a negative state. All right. Now there's a lot to unpack there. I, the res, like, I'm not just saying that there's a lot to unpack there. I'd watch this back again and take notes because this is a client call that I just had. And of course on the client call, I gave them actionable steps to take and how we're going to work on this day in and day out. And we're actually going live tomorrow to work on this specific thing that we talked about for him to really ingrain it in his brain. But I want you to just understand this in your brain. But if you were like, Chase, I don't want to just understand this. I want to implement this into my life. I want to become one of your clients where we can hop on these calls, talk about what is stopping me from expressing myself, how I, I want to express myself. And I want to start taking mad fucking action and change my relationship with my stutter. So it no longer arises shame, embarrassment, anxiety, and it can be your greatest fucking asset to you. Then, hi, my, hi, my name's Chase Gillis. Click the closest link down below in the description. Book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. The closest link down below in the description. You can talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. We'll gauge your situation. We'll see where you're at in this journey. And if working together would be a smart decision based upon where you are and based upon what your goals are, see if I would be able to help you out, all right? That is what to do before 
the interaction to really take the most out of, take the most out of it and overall change your relationship with your stutter and just enjoy yourself all right that was massive i love you i i hope you took a lot from that and i'll see you in the next video if not i'll see you on the call peace out